Is that a bomb or something? Is that a bomb in the, in the, in the house? <laughs> it's a bomb! Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. To gay, uh, to gay. <laughs> I mean, yes. Today, to gay, I am watching uh, season two, episode seven of Our Flag Means Death. And last episode were some really nice scenes. We got to see Steed becoming more of a wonderful, fantastic pirate captain, a leader. He had his first kill and then he had his first, you know, time with Blackbeard in private amid literal fireworks. So that was really lovely. And then we had this side story with Zhang and the Minor Prince. They've they have this plan, I guess, to where Jang has this pirate navy and she wants funding from the family of the prince to give these pirates a livable wage so that it would, in effect, end piracy? I don't know about this, it seems really too simple, but uh, I expect the, the revenge and Jang's I guess Navy to cross paths in some way. So we'll see what this episode brings. A reminder, before we begin, I'm not going to be able to show you everything in this video. However, you can get the full reaction over on my Patreon. And now let's get started. Thank you all so much for being here. And this is my reaction to Season 2, Episode 7 of Our Flag Means Death. Someone's packing? Oh, is he throwing it overboard? That's the Blackbeard outfit. Ed is ditching Blackbeard. So is it just gonna be Ed now? I'll have to get used to that. For two episodes, oh god. See ya, Blackbeard. That's interesting how he threw that into the water, Probably. sinking. Like he was in the water a few episodes ago, drowning. Oh, he's so happy now. Look at him. This is the life he wanted. Sword. Me neither. I don't think I've ever even made regular breakfast. Breakfast in bed? No way of saying thank you. For what? Last night. You saved my life. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad I could help. And then you headbutted him. Hi, boys. Jesus! Fuck off. Hi, Here's boys. My duty to inform the captain that the ship is docked on the Republic of Pirates. Is he reporting? It's to good to see that it's not just the ship that has been well and truly docked. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, Izzy! My god, how far we've come, y'all. Ugh. That's from the prince. Something about celebrating a time of peace. Because time and of uh, time. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Zheng's recruiting. She must have some big plans. All right, we get it. So Zheng is getting a lot of influence, gathering a lot of pirates. Hey, isn't that her over there? Yeah. <gasps> oh hey, shit! Oh. oh. Uh, looks like she remembers you. Awkward. Awkward. Oh, she's running away. Zheng. <laughs> oh, oh, Fonzie. Auntie doesn't forget. <laughs> I mean, I interrupt. But... You want an autograph? Here we go. Having a lovely little meal here with my friend. Oh, um, celebrity. Filling in the... Are you Steve Bonnet? You wasted Ned Lowe? Oh! They want Steve's autograph. We're just huge fans. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to be at Jackie's later. We'll buy you around. Oh, oh bring oh, your friend too. Yes. <laughs> Jackie's. Your friends. What? Congrats, mate. You're infamous. Come on. He's infamous. Yes. Should we get the bill? Pirates don't pay, especially famous ones. Run for it. Oh. Dan and Dash. We didn't pay. Steve. Thanks, my God. Mr. Popularity. Oh, this is going great for you. I'm enjoying it. I love how Ed isn't jealous of Steve's. You found infamy, you know what I mean? He's supportive. What are they? The paparazzi. It's those assholes that float around, they're hiding in the corners doing drawings of- <laughs> The paparazzi! What? 
Oh, yeah. oh, oh wow. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, someone's definitely probably going to try and kill you. <laughs> They're writing down notes. What? Kill me? Oh, but they want to kill you? I mean, not honestly. Any difference? We set one foot in here. Spanish Jackie will have our heads. More like your balls. Oh. Oh. Oh, there she is, looking fabulous. I never thought I'd see you in here again. Wait, oh, I didn't realize realize now I'm we're playing. Playing. Oh, so God. Everyone, listen up. Here's the crew. Oh. 86 Ned Low. Oh. oh. They're being celebrated, right? They're part of the Steed's crew. Of course, they're being welcomed. Oh, the sweet! Yes! This is my signature cocktail. I call it the soup, the oh, soft so have you get to or the sweet and spicy. Oh. Just like my wife. A drink? <laughs> just like my wife. <laughs> it's just me, or did the sweet get like so hot? It's an adjustment for me as well. He is hot. He was always hot, though. You going through that if I was a regular dude phase, huh? Actually, is it a phase? Might not be a phase. He wants to be Ed now, not Blackbeard. Does he know that? Right. Because your guy just became the motherfucking man. That's interesting. They sort of switch places. They might not align anymore. Blackbeard? Are you a poor now? No, I'm just, just trying something different. A poor? <laughs> yeah. I hope it doesn't become a problem because Ed is wanting a maybe a more quieter life while Steed's just growing into being this renowned pirate. He thinks about you all the time, man. Olu came with me because we're like anchors for oh, each other. We're, we're family. Jim, pulling, putting in a word. Thank you for telling me. You want to talk to him? It's like grade school right now. I would not say no to that. It is. See you soon. Pirate Queen. You know what I did this morning? Bright and early. Made your boyfriend blush. Hmm. Threw away your leathers, I saw you. How'd it feel? <laughs> Fucking great. Maybe you should listen to it. Oh? I'm loving this side of Izzy, this change. I just threw a violin! But does this mean he wants to leave the entire life? That's what he wanted originally when he wanted no, to run away see, with Steve. Well, Maybe, he probably still wants ship. that, but does Steve still want that? Look at this. Steve fucking bullet! What the hell? I'm gonna fucking kill you! What the hell is it? Oh! <laughs> Looks like I got someone all hot and bothered. Gentlemen, pirates! What a badass! A fucking dude, yes. But what about this dude? Ed? Someone tried to kill me, just like you said they would. But I set them alight, and then I said a cool thing, and everyone laughed. Whoa. Your first immolation. Sorry, I missed it. It's been a great day. Hey, I'm happy for you. You don't sound that happy. Because they're not in sync, maybe? They want different things? I think last night was oh, a mistake. Oh, no, don't. Well, I know I don't want to be a pirate, but you, look at you, you're blowing up, you know? You're Ed, you're panicking! I'm not I love panicking, that he's right? telling him this, news, though. I'm leaving. <gasps> what? He wants a simple life. I'm a fisherman, now. You're not a fisherman? I am. I, I caught a fish, you saw that? He just said he doesn't know what he is, who he is. It was whatever. I was just uh, making whatever? you feel good. Whatever. Okay, you know what? Fuck you. Steed, you're not listening. Why don't we just stop now? Before we say something, we can't take that. Steve. You're a coward! What the f- No! Uh, Steed, come on, man! Wake up! Queen said she didn't want it in her quarters. I do not want to see it here. Put it below deck. Fuck's sake. Oh. <laughs> They're just moving it around. Just throw it overboard. Get rid of it. Make it into firewood. Stay alive. Fuck off a minute. Mm. Fucking off, sir. Is Steve gonna talk to him? Please do. Whatever you want to say, say in front of my friends. Oh my god. Fuck off, Bill. Yes, sir. <laughs> Bill. Bye, Bill. I think you're a good friend. You balance each other out. It took me a long time to realize that, but. Wow. I don't know. Fat lot of good it's done us. Mm. Yeah, well. Oh. Is 
Izzy. Izzy, I love it, Izzy. He's a complicated man. I do love this change. Que valga la pena. Let's talk to your girl. What a change. You know, you, you Jim and Alawande seem to be headed toward this romance, and now Jim is helping Alawande with Zhang. You know that saying, fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice, I need to end your life. Okay. Oh. Oh. That's not how that goes. <laughs> That's different. That's how I was taught. Look, I I'm sorry I left. I missed you. It feels the same. You missed the break in your day. I missed the break in my day. <laughs> I love when you say that. <laughs> okay. They're so cute. There is more romantic chemistry between them, you know, than it, than Jim and Alu. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Zheng now. Oh, so Alu's leaving the revenge. The What's she doing here? She's recruited off the island. She just added she Alu. Back off, my guys. As I understand. Don't start shit with Zheng, Steve. He's just feeling himself too much. I see. We're all friendly now. Leave my crew alone. Are you sure they're yours? Speed. Maybe go spend some time with your serial killer boyfriend. Or did he already leave you again? Oh, okay, Bill. that's... <laughs> Bill. That went too far. Who told you that? <laughs> Shit, really? That was a lucky shot. Oh, she guessed. I got this, boss. Oh, are you sure? Okay, Doc. Steak knife! Steak knife! Death! What have you done? Oh, oh some kill bullshit! Fight it! Steaky! Steaky! <laughs> you fight like a towel boy. You'd already be dead. You are way out of your element. Way out! I've killed mediocre men. Oh, our fight. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Steed, you idiot. Dude, you can your ass whooped and embarrassed. Undoing all this reputation you built. Oh god. <laughs> really? Am I doing it right? Jam! Is that a bomb or something? Is it a bomb in the in the, in the clocks? <laughs> it's a bomb. It was. I knew it. I didn't know that, but I I felt it was too good to be true. The situation, and now the entire navy she built is destroyed. Oh God! Everything's fucking blowing up. Everything Zhang built is gone. Where'd that go? Is that hit Jang? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Alright, well I hope that Cannonball didn't kill Zhang. That would be the worst end for her. Especially after what just happened. I mean... Where do they go from here? So, at the end of the last episode, I had questions about this entire arrangement with the Minor Prince. Because even though they were blackmailing him, he really doesn't have any power. He's all talk. He's not the guy that makes the decisions. So I didn't trust that it would work out. And I didn't, but I didn't really know what the plan was. Even when I saw the clock, I had no idea that there was a possibility that there was bombs in it. They were literally ticking time bombs. I'm hoping Auntie wasn't near one of them. Oh my God, was she? I don't think she was. Um, and of course, that'd be the worst way to kill her off. But I... So now that this has happened, Zhang has nothing. Her entire plan, she was making a lot of progress with recruiting a lot of pirates. 
hacked and piracy. And she was even recruiting people off of Steed's revenge, right? And that's why Steed got pissed off and and challenged her. Oh my god, what a pity. <laughs> this entire episode we saw, you know, of course we've been talking about how Steed has progressed as a captain, as a leader. And of course it got to his head because he's, he realizes he has fans. He's basically becoming Blackbeard in a way. Um, so to sort of see them switch places here and also see the impact that it's having not only on Steed and his ego, but also on his relationship with Blackbeard because Blackbeard is trying to tell him, hey, I'm done. I, 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 I don't want this life for me. I want a quieter life. I want to be a fisherman. We saw at the beginning of the episode, he threw away Blackbeard. He threw him overboard, basically, symbolically. So he wants something different. He wanted that last season when he wa when he had plans to run away with Steed, right? But of course, that didn't work out, but it doesn't change anything. This is what he wants for himself. Oh my god, and it's, um... I, 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 I had fears that, like, they're not really aligned now because, of course, Steed had a quiet private life. And the simple life, the safe life, and he wanted the risky pirate life, which is why he did what he did. He left his family, right? Now it seems to be the exact opposite, where Blackbeard, this is all that he's ever known, and he's tired of it. He now wants the quiet family life, probably with Steed, right? Steed would be his family, but they're not aligned at the moment, and it's because all this is getting to Steed's head. I'm hoping he's able to wake up, especially now, with what happened with Zhang at the end of, of the episode, because he basically undid <laughs> his reputation. I mean, he got his ass kicked in every way. So uh, maybe this wakes him up. There's also Izzy. Izzy, I'm really enjoying Izzy, his part in all of this. He's being supportive of Ed and Steve being together. He supports Ed being Ed and not Blackbeard anymore. Like, I'm loving this turnaround for, for him. I'm so glad we're able to see it before the end of the, <laughs> the series, but it's, it's, he's just been such a supportive friend, and I love that. Uh, and Steed is just not being that person for, for Fred. He's not, and he needs to be, but he's not listening because he's too caught up in the pirate life and wanting this for himself that he's not paying attention to what to what Ed needs, and that's just unfortunate. So now we're left with the final episode of this series. I hate that. I know there's still hope that, you know, the show will be saved and we'll get more. But as of right now, I'm just sort of going ahead with this. With the fact that we only have one episode left. That's all we're being promised, right? So uh, I don't know how, <laughs> how this one episode is going to sort of tie everything together. I don't expect it to. I just hope, my only hope for this final episode is that it gives me some sort of peace and maybe ends in a way where I'm not wondering for the rest of my life if Steed and Ed are happy, right? Like, it would be nice if they just maybe get their own little fishing boat and live the life of fishermen together quietly forever. Right? That'd be nice! <laughs> we'll see if I get it. That would be my hope, my dream, but... Yeah, I'm not really counting on it. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a really fun episode, action-packed. We'll see what the finale brings. Thank you all so much for watching, and a reminder, if you want the full reaction, you're gonna find that over on Patreon. But until next time, I'll see you again very soon. Adios!